Hi, everyone, and welcome to a new episode. Today, I'm going to be diving into a lot of what would be a lot of people's worst case scenarios, and that is if their hardware wallet devices get stolen. Um, these tips and tricks and uh, you know assessments can also be applied to if that hardware wallet or device were to be lost or damaged, um, but specifically also if someone is in if someone else is in possession of your hardware wallet device and they're actively trying to get into it. So uh, if that's what you're into, if you want to figure out how you can best prepare yourself to make it as <laughs> stress-free of a situation as you can, definitely keep watching. I've got some tips for you. Okay, so the first thing that is really important to understand about hardware wallets is that you have, there's kind of three security aspects to a hardware wallet. You have the fact that it's an actual hardware device um, that stores your coins offline, and it also, they often have a button or some other kind of physical engagement aspect that removes it from being like virtually hacked from a hacker who, if heaven forbid, you should get a phishing email or you click on a bad link or something, and all of a sudden you have some something like a gateway way from your computer to the hacker, if you're storing your cryptocurrencies on a hardware device and you have unplugged it from your computer, uh, they cannot get to it. So you have the actual hardware wallet device. Um, and also from here on out, I'm pretty much just going to be you know, referencing for ledger devices, ledger hardware wallets, because that's just what I'm most fam familiar with and have used in the past. So uh, with ledger hardware wallets, you have the device, you have your pin, which they prompt you to come up with when you are initializing your device. It could be, I think it's like from four to seven digits. Obviously, the more digits you, pr you create in the pin, the more secure it is. And also, as as with any proper wallet that you will be creating, whether it is a hardware wallet device or any other wallet, you will be prompted to write down the seed phrase, which is usually 12 to 24 words, hopefully 24 words again, the more words, the more phrases, the more secure the wallet is. So basically, in order to access your coins on a hardware wallet, you will either need to have the physical device in your hand and you will need to know the pin of that device or you will need access to the seed phrase that was written down. This is why it is very important to store your seed phrase in a way that is completely separate and unconnected to where you store or access your actual hardware device. Because if someone is able in a position to physically steal your physical device and you are storing it right next to your seed phrase, um, most likely they're gonna scoop that all up. And in, if that is the case, if you do not have access to your seed phrase and you also do not have access to your hardware device. I'm sorry to say it, but you do not have access to any of your cryptocurrencies that were stored using that hardware device or using that seed phrase. So it is very important to decentralize the way that you store your information on how to access your hardware wallets. So even if they have your device, but they do not have your seed phrase, if you still have your seed phrase, they cannot get your coins and you can actually uh, import your information from that hard stolen hardware wallet onto a new device. So again, that also applies to if your device has been lost or damaged, is that as long as you still have access to your seed phrase, you can reboot that wallet onto a new device. So here are my tips for helping you to, you know, kind of prepare for a worst case scenario if this were to happen. You can already be very uh, responsive and be able to kind of remedy the situation situation as quickly as possible. So here are uh, some tips for you to consider. If you are interested in storing your cryptocurrencies on a hardware device and especially in a time like now where a bull market or a bull run might very well be right around the corner, um, I definitely encourage you if you're already going to buy one hardware wallet, 
uh, perhaps consider buying two and using one as a backup. So again, in case something like this happens, you can already have it on hand. Boom, reinstate your coins on the new device. And uh, and then what you, you haven't lost much stress or hair, gained many wrinkles, <laughs> lost much uh, stress sweat in that situation. Um, and in that regard also, because again, I said like bull run coming, a lot of people will be pouring into this space. We've seen it nearly every time there's a bull market is like everything gets flooded. The crypto exchanges see far more users than they're used to. Maybe they haven't prepared for that. And also can be said for hardware manufacturers. A lot of people are going to be pouring in, take, uh, placing orders. And um, especially with Ledger, there's been known to be like months at a time of backlog or having to wait for like this new batch of hardware wallets to be uh, created for you to get your hands on it. So if you can get Get one now while it's still probably uh, pretty easy to get a hold of uh, before you know the crowds come in. Go ahead and have them. Otherwise, if something like this were to happen, and let's say it was just uh, lost or damaged, you'd have to wait like two months before you could access your coins. If you're trying to make a trade or take some profits on these coins that you're holding during a bull market and you miss it because you weren't ready, uh, that could be kind of an exponentially bad situation. Not the worst case scenario. Still have your crypto, but uh, you can maybe not take as much advantage of it as you could have. And and also another really cool tool that I came across recently is called Crypto Steel, which is a really unique way to store things like your seed phrase in a way that is much more secure than just like writing it on a piece of paper. Definitely much more secure than keeping it, say, like on your notepad, on your computer, or in your email, or heaven forbid, on your phone. Uh, those are all things that are very easily compromised by things or people like hackers who can get that information. And if it's your seed phrase, that is the ultimate you know, keys to your castle, keys to your crypto castle is your seed phrase that should be um, held at the utmost importance and try to be stored as securely as possible from things like, you know, crazy things like fire, flood, theft, of course, and just getting lost in general. So anyway, this really cool tool I found is called Crypto Steel, and I'll be playing the video behind me here, but it's like a little capsule that you can store these little tablets that have uh, letters and numbers, uppercase, lowercase on them. And you can store uh, up to like 120, I think, characters or something on the device. Uh, the cost of it is about like $100, I think, or like 89 euros for one of them. I don't have one yet, uh, but I thought it was really, really cool idea. It's made out of stainless steel, so it is like heat resistant, rust resistant. Um, hopefully it floats <laughs> uh, in case something like a flood happens. Um, but it's... And I think it's it's kind of like a more incognito way to store your cryptocurrency seed phrases uh, because it just looks like a little tube. So uh, those were my tips for you. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of peace of mind and a little bit better idea of how hardware wallets work. Um, the fact that if they are lost, stolen, or damaged, it is not necessarily the end of the world. Again, as long as you're storing your seed phrase in a much more, as securely as you can, in a separate um, location or in a separate way where if someone does f somehow physically get your hardware device, they can't also have access to your seed phrase. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. I always appreciate it. If you leave a like, if you felt this video was informative or helpful for you, leave a comment down below. Hi for everyone who is new to this channel. And also of course, hi to those who are returning subscribers. If you found this video to be great and you want to learn more, you're interested in seeing more of these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get more. So anyway, I will be coming to you guys again very soon. In the meantime, I hope you have a good one.